Hi guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it's been a cool minute since I put up a video, but in my defense, something unfortunate happened and I really wasn't in a vlogging mood and I had to focus on that. I'm okay, we'll get to that later. Overcame the situation and so yeah, we'll talk about that later. And also I have good news to share about me also and then um, two of my kids. But anyway, that's later. I did vlog here and there throughout the month of December and instead of me deleting the footage or going through it and trying to see what I talked to you guys about and talking about it again, I decided to do this video and just have you guys see what we did so you guys can be up to date, sort of, <laughs> on what's been going on in the Shell Bell life and the Shell Bell household. So that's what you guys are gonna see next. I'm in Walmart looking for a tree skirt because I don't have one. Well, I have one, but it's old and it's ugly and I don't see anything that is saying get me, so I may not even get one today. There's one with snowman on it, but I don't really like it. This one's kind of fluffy, but not so much. Oh, good morning. It is Tuesday, and I'm about to leave Walmart. It is so cold, you guys, it's 43 degrees. It's cold. Our Walmart here opens up at 6 a.m. That's why I was able to come after I dropped Savannah off to school. And this particular Walmart, it used to be open 24 hours, but I guess over the years, maybe things happened, robberies, I don't know. And then they stopped. I remember coming here at midnight, sometimes at two in the morning. I am about to go to Kaiser. I need refills on my vitamins my iron pills and my calcium I tried to find it here and I found them but not the right dosage so I'm home now and I did go to Kaiser and I got my iron pills which is right here and then my calcium pills so I'm good to go and this is what I've been taking the last few days to help me to not get sick to boost my immune system so this is definitely helping Okay, so I'm just keeping laundry going. Dishes are done and I am just sitting down now watching YouTube. I have my McDonald's coffee that I got when I was out. We have coffee home, but I just wanted something different. So yeah, that's about all that I'm doing right now, you guys. And I don't know why this thought came to my head. So I'm an RDA, which stands for Registered Dental Assistant. I had to go to the college in San Francisco, the dental college, and take a practical test, and I passed it, and you know, then I got the license. So I actually have to have a license to do what I do. You don't have to, but you'll make more if you have a license. So I've been doing this almost 20 years. Tariq is almost 20, yes, almost 20 years, and that's how I make my living, for those of you who did not know, but most of you do know. Maybe if I'm ever out of the dental field, um, because I was actually thinking about doing something else, but that's another story. If I'm ever out of the dental field, I will give you guys the lowdown on everything. Not that it's a secret and not anything that will break HIPAA laws or anything like that, but just, I don't know, things that I've experienced in the past with doctors, with staff, with patients, but I don't know if they can blackball you and stop you from getting jobs or give you a bad reputation. I don't know. So... I'm not gonna do that right now, but maybe I will tell you guys like different stories from time to time. One of the biggest things I've experienced very early on in my career, I had been to this job a year out of dental school, so I didn't have my license yet. We had got a new doctor and it was a group practice and group practice, the doctors are employees just like the rest of the staff, unless they buy into the practice and become part owner, but this doctor, he was not part owner. He was a different race than I am and I'm saying that because he was very traditional in his ways and I'm not gonna say what he was. He was very traditional in his ways from what he was taught 
and the other assistant, the girl that I work with, they were the same race. And she would tell me all the time, the reason why he treats us that way, because in their culture, women are basically just baby makers and stay at home. I don't think anyone should be treated the way he did. And not all doctors are that way. So he had been there maybe about six months and he started to come in to work very late, 40 minutes here and there, and not even call us to let us know that he's gonna be late. We started smelling like alcohol in his breath, and we're like, is he really drunk? I mean, he didn't like stumble in his walk, or he didn't have slurred speech or anything like that, so we think he was functioning alcoholic. Before you bring up accusations like that, you know, you wanna be sure you don't want to you know bring somebody's name through the mud and you know that's not the case but we were pretty positive plus we would see like alcohol in his drawer on lunch he would go buy alcohol and he'd bring it in the office he'd take it home but does he open it throughout the day hmm so we told the office manager and we told her what we suspected and she really didn't do anything about it. She did talk to him. He said, oh, I have Listerine. And then all of a sudden after she talked to him, then we started seeing Listerine bottles in his pocket, like the little mini ones are in his office. And we're like, how come all of a sudden now there's all these Listerine bottles around? One day a patient came in having pain. So I took the x-ray and the doctor looked at it and he said, this tooth is not savable. It needs to be extracted. So he got her numb and I was the assistant that was going to be helping him, right? So I'm getting everything ready for the room and he gets ready to extract the tooth. He took the forceps and he starts wiggling the tooth. But I'm looking and, okay, I don't know if you guys know, but teeth are numbered 116, 17, 32. This was number 30, right? We were supposed to be extracting number 30. He reaches and puts the forceps on number 31. And so I'm looking and I made sure I looked at the chart and I'm like, well, maybe he said something to her when I walked out, whatever. And no, it said number 30. So I gently, I took the suction and I tapped the forceps like and pointed to tooth number 30. He didn't say anything. And then I did it again, just gently trying to give him a nudge, like, you know, pay attention, look, whatever. He looked up, gave me the evilest look. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. Still thinking, well, maybe there's something I didn't know. The tooth is almost out and he realizes what he did. He just stopped and paused. And you seen in his eyes, of course he had a mask on so I couldn't see, I'm sure his mouth was open wide, but you seen his eyes got really big and he looked at me and I just turned my head and I'm like, nope, I try to warn you. I try to gently tell you whatever. And if he was the kind of person where he was nice to me and not treat me very condescending like he did, I would have actually, before he did that, I'd have been like, you know what, doctor, it's really important. Can I talk to you, you know, really quick? I have worked with doctors before that have told us, hey, if you see something, maybe it's on the area that we can see that they can't see, they don't mind us telling them. But some doctors, they have a God complex. They don't want you telling it anything because I'm the doctor. I, you know, went to school many years for this. And yes, right, they did. But also we learn stuff along the way. We know things. And sometimes depending on the angle, we can see things that they can't see. But I didn't do that because I'm like, whatever, let him dig his own grave. Then he stops and he tells the patient he said you know what upon further examining of the x-rays the tooth behind it number 31 it's in the same predicament it's gonna need to come out also and I looked at the x-ray and looked at him and I'm like this dude is straight up lying no there's nothing wrong with the tooth and I'm like okay well maybe just maybe because I was new but you learn stuff along the way you learn to we know what decay looks like we know what calculus looks like we know Pretty much if the doctor's gonna say, oh, this tooth needs a root canal, we can't diagnose that. But you know, these are things that you learn along the way. Look at him like, mm, nope, nope, nope. But I didn't say anything and he's still making up this reason and excuse that, you know, this tooth needed to come out also. And he decided that while he was there to take that one out. You don't just do work in a patient's mouth without letting him know. You, that's just a no-no, right? And he knows that. She just said, okay. And my heart, I'm like, oh my goodness. This man, he's, he's crazy. He's drunk, number one. And number two, he shouldn't be working on people's mouth. He took out the wrong tooth. 
and then he took out the tooth that we were supposed to take out the one that was actually really bad y'all i wanted to get her number and call her but i was afraid i didn't want to lose my job i didn't know what to do about it at all he sat in the back and he said wow i can't believe i did that I, I can't believe I did that and you tried to let me know. And I didn't say anything to him because I'm like, you know what? We don't have that type of working relationship. We try to be nice to try to help you out and then you treat us like we don't know anything. So this is on you, dude. Me and the other sister went to talk to the office manager. She did talk to him and he told her, he said, no. He said, that tooth needed to come out also. That's why he took it out. So he changed his story from what he told me when he talked to the office manager. This doctor should not have been practicing, should not have been working in people's mouths. I don't know if he had something going on. It doesn't matter if something was going on in his personal life. You just don't come to work drunk. So the assistant that worked with me also, she actually contacted the dental board and reported it and she did it anonymously. Two weeks later, he was gone. He didn't give a notice. No one said anything. The office manager didn't say anything. All she said was, he's no longer here. So I kind of knew what happened, but at the same time, there was no investigation. No one asked me anything, thinking maybe he had other things that happened before. Tell me why all of a sudden after this happened, those x-rays that I took that day for the patient came up missing yeah so yeah you guys that's one of my dental stories the things i could tell you oh you'd be surprised not only you know on our side of things but with patients and i probably should have a like a little segment like dental stories if you guys want to hear a dental story or like if i tell you guys certain things that happen that day if you guys want to hear that let me know in the comments below and of course I won't tell the patient's name or anything like that. So it's almost noon and I have not eaten breakfast yet, but I'm getting hungry now and I think I'm going to have some turkey burgers that I got from Winco. So these are Genio turkey burgers, um, turkey bacon and cheddar. I'm gonna try one. I'll let you guys know how it is. So these are pretty thick, even though I know they'll shrink down. I just added salt and pepper, so I'm gonna heat that up and let me show you guys the thickness. See, it's pretty thick. And I have my little candle warmer right here with its vanilla scent. It smells like birthday cake. And I have to throw this away because that is garbage because it is broken. So the turkey patty is done. So I just put a little bit of cheese and I'm only having it on one slice of bread because as you can see, it's shrunk down in size and it's lighting is very bad. I'm thinking if I come from a different angle, it'd be better. I don't know. Anyway, so I just sprinkled a little cheese on top and then this right here is actually, the kids went to Chick-fil-A last week, um, Friday or Thursday, and they had extra sauce packets. And when they get those, I like to save them and use it for stuff like this. So I'm going to have a sandwich and I will let you guys know how this turkey burger taste okay so you guys i ate the turkey burger and it was delicious it was juicy it was not dry it was cooked perfectly and of course i seasoned it with salt and pepper and whatever seasoning very small seasoning it had in there before that was pretty good also so yeah that and it was filling i'm glad i didn't put a top layer of bread on, on it so yeah it was good and i'm just sitting here watching Today with Trey, no, they changed their channel name. It's the Rush Fam, so just watching that, they're putting up their Christmas tree. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, and I am keeping laundry going, and yep, yeah, it's done. Let me put these in the dryer. It's a never-ending cycle, just when you think you have it all done. wanted to show you guys this I don't put candy canes on my tree I have this little snowman container whatever you want to call it and I just put my candy canes in there and yesterday you guys this was filled like overflowing and my kids when they have them they take like two and three at a time I mean it's for them to enjoy but my goodness just because I work in a dental office don't mean you can get cavities so trying to see what I'm going to eat for breakfast um, running low on cereal there is a little bit of Captain Crunch left 
I think this is honey grams or cinnamon toast crunch or something like that. Ooh, there's a full thing of um, frosted flakes. I love frosted flakes, you guys. It's like one of my favorite cereals, but I'm not gonna have it today. And then we have Fruit Loops and <gasps> Cookie Crisp. Oh yes, I'm such a big kid. I'm gonna have this for breakfast. Well, hello. Bye. How are you? Is it cold out there? Mm, kinda. kinda. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> yes, it's still morning. Happy Saturday. Hanging out at home today. What do I do? That's that's the story of my life. Nothing much is planned today. Cheyenne and Tyreek are at work and it's just me and Savannah for today. So I'm going to watch Friends a little bit later and I've actually started watching Medium. Remember the show that used to come on TV where she was a medium and she would solve crimes or whatever like that. So I'm watching that also. So I'm flipping back and forth from that to Friends. But today I'm actually going to make jalapeno jelly. Yes, you heard me. Um, it's jalapeno jelly made from jalapenos and I made it actually years ago. I'm making my breakfast slash lunch, whatever. It's 11.26 right now. So yeah, I'm having my soup that I usually make with the shrimp and sausages and stuff like that. So just having that for my breakfast. And then yeah, I gotta make the jalapeno jelly today. Yeah, so that's about it today. Nothing big planned. That's the story of my life, you guys, you know it. So you guys have seen my soup that I made before, which is just regular uh, pack of noodles that you find at your local store. And then shrimp, I put hot links in it. Um, I added something different this time. I think these are scallops. They're really good. I think it's scallops. Um, I put sriracha in there. I did drop an egg in there. It's somewhere. Um, that's part of it. And then I put cilantro on the tops. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get started on the jalapeno jelly. I have my gloves on because you do not wanna cut this stuff up with your bare hands and then touch your eyes for any reason because that would burn. So anytime I make this or anything dealing with jalapenos, I put my gloves on. So I use 16 jalapeno peppers and I cut up all of them, but I took the seeds out of half of them and I'm leaving the seeds in, excuse me, I'm leaving the seeds in the other half because you want it spicy, but not too spicy. I know it's gonna have sugar in it and everything, but you want just a kick a hint of spiciness you don't want to burn your throat and then I'm going to blend them up the recipes that I've seen online do not tell you to take the seeds out of half of them but this is the way I do it oh my goodness you guys I am choking and coughing because just the fumes in the air is really <coughs> Ooh, it's just intense all right you guys I'm sweating I feel like it's all in my nose and throat. One thing I forgot to tell you is in addition to wearing the gloves, when you're pureeing it or in a blender, wear a mask. <coughs> and if you wonder why I go through all that just to make something, well, the end result is good. It's just, I totally forgot about the mask until I started like choking because it just smelled really strong. What was that? Still chunks? Okay, I'm gonna have to go through it. A little bit of chunks is okay, but big ones? Yeah, I'll have to fix that. All right, you guys, let me continue with this jelly. Apple cider vinegar. So this is what I use, the liquid pectin, to give it that jellied effect. So this is how it's looking so far, you guys. And one thing I forgot to do that I didn't tell you guys is I blended up a bell pepper. I used red this time. You could use red or green, but I did red for the contrast of colors. And yeah, now I'm in just cooking it down. So I know it doesn't look very appealing right now. It actually looks like baby food, but it's going to be good. I guarantee it. Here is the jelly. It's not done yet, of course. I just filled the jars. So it made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. It's still really hot and you guys see my fingers are stained red. That is because I had to use red food coloring. Um, just a few drops to change it from like a dark green color to a red. So yeah, you guys, I had to work really fast on this. So look who has a new phone. This is Cheyenne's new phone and it is in the color yellow. You guys can't see it that good, but I think it's really super cute and it just jiggled because I guess it was looking for your face to um, 
unlock the screen. Which one is this one? The XR. The XR. Yeah. So this is her new phone. Oh, it just feels so good to be back, back to vlogging. I am going to try you guys to put out more videos than I have been. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I feel like I'm finally in the place here. I feel like doing it and yeah, so hopefully you guys will be seeing more videos in the new year. That's what I plan on doing. So let's get to the unfortunate thing that happened. Thank you.